Hi, I'm David Taylor, and I am a self-taught quilter. I started quilting in 1999, and when I discovered quilting, I wanted to learn everything I could to find out the type of quilting that I wanted to do. And I found out that I was born to be an art quilter. I do hand applique for all of my quilt tops, and my quilting is designed to enhance that applique. If you're familiar with any of my work, I mostly stick to pictorial work. I do animals, I do flowers, trees, uh, simple objects that I can recreate in fabric. I work from photographs and I adapt those photographs into a quilt. Mm -hmm. What I want to achieve with my work is that when someone looks at my quilt, they don't see fabric and thread. They see a goat or a dog or a cat or a flower, and until they get up close and inspect it, that's when they find out that it's all made with fabric and thread. The quilting portion of, what I, of my work is to enhance that applique. So I am constantly changing out thread colors as I'm working. What I love about my Sweet 16 is that it has a speed control on it. The maximum capacity of the machine is to do 1,500 stitches per minute. I run that speed down to 25% so that no matter how fast I step on that gas, the machine is not going to do more than say 400 stitches a minute. I am very meticulous in my stitching and every stitch matters to me. So before I even begin, I will lay out the top of the quilt that I'm going to work on and then I'll go through my threads to find out what threads I can use to enhance that applique. I'm all about cotton thread, specifically variegated cotton threads. And so I use whatever threads I can find. This is King Tut from Superior. It's a 40 weight variegated cotton. I also like, I actually love Sulky Blendables. The difference between the King Tut from Superior and the Blendables by Sulky is Sulky is a 30 weight. The King Tut is a 40 weight, so it's a little bit thinner. What I like about the 30 weight is it tends to blend a little more in with the heavy cottons that I use for my applique. It also, the variegation changes at random, whereas the King Tut changes every inch. 